From the discovery of ancient creatures whose organs remain intact, to the resurrection of ancient viruses. The frozen realms of our planet, otherwise known as the permafrost, have revealed remarkably preserved prehistoric discoveries. These discoveries continue to challenge our understanding of the universe. The permafrost, which covers a fifth of the Northern Hemisphere, is constituted by a combination of soil, rocks and sand bound together by ice that remains frozen all year. It's also free of oxygen and light doesn't penetrate it. It is for these reasons that it can preserve nearly anything within it. In recent times, climate change has continued to melt the permafrost, breaking it down to reveal biological wonders and valuable treasures. In today's video, we will delve deep into 10 discoveries in the permafrost that will send some shocking waves down your spine. Sit up and let's go on an icy journey as we explore the Ice Age together. Number 10. In July 2016, Gold miner Neil Lovelace was water blasting a wall of frozen mud in the Yukon, Canada, when he struck a 57,000 year old treasure that's more precious than gold in a layer of thawing permafrost. It was indeed a historical jackpot. It turned out to be a perfectly preserved Pleistocene grey wolf puppy. Going down the history lane some 57,000 years ago in prehistoric Canada, it was recorded that a sandy den collapsed onto a six-year-old wolf pup, preserving her in time as permafrost formed. When Neil discovered the creature, he thought it was a puppy that had fallen off the mine shaft. It wasn't until a paleontologist arrived that the puppy was identified. Everything from her fur to her organs was intact, except for her eyes. The preserved wolf pup was named Zur and would become the most complete wolf mummy ever found as it was not common for mummified bodies with their organs intact to be found in North America. Number 9. The next discovery is a frozen carcass of a woolly mammoth that eventually got a day in the sun. Yuka, as it was called, was discovered by some local men in 2010. It was said that the ancient woolly mammoth last lived some 28,000 years ago before being mummified in the frozen permafrost wastelands of northern Siberia. Although some experts believe that it's unlikely we have prehistoric beasts walking among us soon, scientists seem to differ on this as they believe the emerging cell regeneration technology is a significant step toward making it a reality. In fact, they've recorded success in reawakening traces of the biological activity of the beast by implanting her cell nuclei into the egg cells of mice. We might be an inch closer to having in our world a replica of the Jurassic Park style attraction, a concept that was once confined to science fiction. Number 8. In 2018, an international team of scientists announced the discovery of two types of microscopic nematodes estimated to be frozen for up to 42,000 years. More extraordinary is that these worms were revived from Siberian soil samples. It was something straight out of a horror movie when these creatures began to move and eat. They've been kept in petri dishes containing a nutrient medium at 20 degrees Celsius. But how could they have survived for that long? Well, one of these nematodes found in the Siberian permafrost is believed to be a new species dubbed Panigralemus colimayenis. These species are known to survive in environments regularly exposing them to freezing or desiccation. Although some scientists contend that it's difficult to prove the worm's age as the radiocarbon dating is based on the plant matter found within the nematodes. Bringing back dormant worms to life after thousands of years is really a miracle. Number 7. Have you learned about the messenger from the Ice Age that was uncovered during a mining operation near Fairbanks, Alaska? No small thanks to gold miners Walter and Ruth Roman and their sons. The messenger is actually the carcass of an Alaska steppe bison dubbed Blue Babe. The frozen relic was thought to be tens of thousands of years old and its horns span up to four feet. An attempt was made to excavate the bison. Unfortunately, some parts of its body were still stuck in frozen soil. Fearing it would decompose, its head and neck were severed. With the rest of the carcass collected immediately, they became free from the muckbank. 
The bison carcass earned its nickname, Blue Babe, from the blue chalking substance with which it was covered. It's possible that the bison died when conditions were relatively cold. The carcass is now being held in a glass case at a University of Alaska museum. Number 6. For many decades, scientists hypothesized that camels dwelling in the Arctic were closely related to llamas and alpacas that were native to South America. They might be right after all. Some gold miners in Hunker Creek had collected a pile of bones belonging to the Ice Age era in 2008. A few specimens they collected revealed that the bones belonged to an extinct camel species that lived between 75,000 and 125,000 years ago. The bones were well preserved that researchers were able to extract DNA. The Ice Age Western camels were believed to have split off from modern day camels about 10 million years ago. It was not until some 10,000 years ago that they became extinct, far before any of us were born. Number 5. Of over 50,000 bones of Ice Age animals that have been discovered in the past, there are only two rare finds something like a needle in a haystack. This find was the teeth of an arctic hyena. Trust us, this is not the common stout and scrappy scavengers found in African savannas or arid parts of India. Although they share the same similarities with today's hyenas, they had tall, powerful legs which aid their speed. Based on the geology of the basin where they were found, the teeth were believed to belong to a hyena that lived between 850,000 and 1.4 million years ago. They probably went into extinction following Ice Age predators such as the short-faced bear or the now-extinct bone-cracking dog. Number 4. The next discovery is one of the largest rodents recorded. Looking at the skull, you'd think it belonged to a saber-toothed cat that feeds on humans, but you'd be wrong. It's actually the skull of a giant beaver, whose length exceeds that of most humans. So don't expect the beaver to be more dramatic than a sea creature that only feeds on pond weeds. At 6 feet long and weighing 220 pounds, the Ice Age giant beaver was about the size of a modern black bear. Upon the analysis of the chemical signatures in the teeth, the beaver was estimated to have lived between 10,000 and 50,000 years ago. Giant beavers thrived in wetter climates and might have died out 10,000 years ago. Number 3. Now let's take a look at another breathtaking discovery. Wild flowers blooming again after many years on ice. Amazing, isn't it? Some 30,000 years ago, ground squirrels buried a treasure trove of fruits and seeds in the permafrost on the banks of the Kalima River in northeastern Siberia. Although there were previous attempts to grow plants from seeds discovered in ancient burrows, those seeds actually germinated. However, they faltered and died back. Later, a team of scientists took samples of placental tissues from saline stenophylla fruits and cultivated it in vitro. Interestingly, the tissue produced shoots and blossomed to produce fertile seeds, which were also grown into a second generation of fertile plants. Number 2. Beyond biology and geology, the permafrost also preserves numerous cultural treasures waiting to be rediscovered. The summer of 2020 find was arguably one of the most exciting archaeological discoveries in recent years. A small team of archaeologists was excavating the foot of a burial mound in eastern Kazakhstan when they discovered artifacts made of bronze and covered with gold foil. A total of 830 golden objects hidden beneath a protective shell of stones. The objects were once used as ceremonial decorations for horse harnesses. Probably the horses were buried as a tribute to an unknown high-ranking ruler, or as a memorial gift. Nevertheless, the objects were last seen 2,500 years ago and were native to the Saka people. The Saka were nomadic and semi-nomadic pastoralists, and lived between 900 BC and 200 BC in the Eastern Eurasian Steppe. Number 1. An intimidating discovery that has left archaeologists baffled is the mummy of a 6- or 7-year-old boy who is believed to have died in the 12th or 13th century. The mummified remains were discovered near the Arctic town of Salakard. From the tools with which he was buried, which include a bronze axe, sharp objects, and a metal bear-shaped pendant, 
Researchers were able to speculate that the mummy belonged to an unknown culture. Digging further, archaeologists also discovered 34 other ancient corpses close to the area. What could have led to the death of the child? Why wasn't he buried in a wooden sarcophagus as with other similar dead children? Maybe archaeologists would be able to give answers to the ravaging questions someday. If you found these discoveries fascinating, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more shocking science revelations. Kindly state in the comment section which of the discoveries amazed you the most. Until next time, stay curious.